Oh, hey, thanks again for all the support over on 66hellride.spreadshirt.com. Oh, hey, what's going on? 66hellride here. Yep, uh, still here in the horse puddle. It's been uh, two weeks in KU now. Um, man, I've been through quite a bit, you know, but uh, I'm still on the path to recovery. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, my breathing's good, all my stats have been good, and everything. Uh, see, uh, they were supposed to take the chest tube out on Friday, and uh, I had a bit of a setback. It seems that I sprung another leak in my lung. I don't know whether it's in the line in the lung or if it's an issue with my body. Um, the doctors didn't seem to be too concerned about it. They're just going to observe me through the rest of the weekend and uh, check me out. Now this machine here, I don't know if I explained this or not, probably not. This right here is not oxygen running through me. This is a respiration receiver. And what this does is this records my respirations. And if my, my breathing is too shallow, it won't let me pump pain medicine into me. Which is, I've got a PCA right now. It's uh, I don't know what it stands for, but anyway, it lets me control the amount of uh, the morphine, Dilata, whatever it is that's in there uh, going into my system. And the button on there is, it's tangled up, but anyway, it's that cool green button. And uh, it lets me hit it about every 10 minutes or so uh, for pain. And uh, But anyway, I really haven't needed a whole lot. But I have used it a little bit because I'm still pretty sore, and believe it or not, I have three holes stuffed in the side of my chest. So... Uh, dealing with that and then just sitting sedentary in the bed um, you just kind of get stoked up and sore so um, they've helped me with pain relief quite a bit here and so the nursing staff has been awesome so in return they give me this to put on here if I take this off or anything it will sound a terrible alarm and then the nurses all come running thinking that I've crashed so I'll just leave it on there for now but uh, yeah I got uh, you know, the videos up from last Friday night the, uh, the uh, Thrust Solace show, and uh, thanks again to all everybody that supported me through that and uh, donated. It was incredible, uh, you know, almost a thousand dollars that they raised for me, and that just absolutely blows me away. And it it, uh, it sure helps to pay off some of the the uh, large debt that I've incurred, encountered, <laughs> incurred, uh, no cures, but uh, you know it's helped me out quite a bit, and I'm really honored. And on top of that, this coming Friday night, the 27th, um, I've been chosen by Do It For The Love Foundation to participate with three friends to go to Michael Franti and Spearhead concert here at Crossroads in Kansas City. Um, I think it starts at 7 o'clock at night, but uh, yeah, I got uh, four tickets uh, to go to the show, and it's a backstage VIP situation, and... Uh, I get to do an interview with him, so I'll put together some questions to ask the guy um, whenever I meet him on Friday. That's going to be pretty cool and exciting. Um, I don't really even know what to expect, but I know it's going to be incredible, and I'm going to catch as much of it on video and uh, still images that I can. So I'm taking my girlfriend, um, my daughter, and a friend of mine, Amy. Um, I've known Amy for a long, long time. Um, she's been dealing with some pretty health, pretty serious health issues of her own um, over the years and I couldn't think of a more deserving and wonderful person to uh, to take than uh, take my friend Amy and uh, of course I'm good friends with her brother and uh, been been around him for a lot of years so uh, they're good people and I just couldn't have thought of anybody else I'd rather take and it's gonna be a good time so I'm excited to see that I said I've already dropped this video at four minutes um, and it's like 1.30 in the morning, so it's about time for me to get ready and crash. Uh, I've had my last pain dose that I wanted to put in me for the night, and uh, got me a couple of drinks of ice water, and getting ready to uh, burn out for the night. But uh, for sure, go over to um, 66hellride.spreadshirt.com. Um, here before too long, maybe the next couple of weeks, you've seen that logo. I'm going to put that on uh, on a t-shirt, I believe. And uh, I'm going to try to do a two-sided front and back t-shirt, and I'm going to use that logo on there. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be up sometime in the next couple weeks. I'll have that in addition to the ones that are already available. But yeah, check them out. 66spreadshirt, 66hellride.spreadshirt.com. I'll put the link down here. 
and I'll also put a link down below here for uh, Michael Franti and Spearhead so you can kind of check him out. Uh, you may dig some of his music. You may not. Um, there's some of his music I'm not a real big fan of, but uh, I like it. It's good background music, even the stuff I don't really care for. It's uh, good background music, and uh, I can't wait to go. So, anyway, thanks again for all my subs. And, uh, oh my gosh, I'm up over 600 and I don't even know what, 615 maybe? 610? Blows me away. Uh, thanks again if you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber or a contemplating am I going to subscribe subscriber or if you're a former subscriber and you just can't stay away. Whatever the combination may be, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and support me. All you 66 percenters are awesome people, and uh, it means a lot to me, and it's helped me cure this far. The doctors are even actually, like, the surgeons came in yesterday and uh, talked to me about, you know, observing the, this, this uh, tube, and it's like, man, I can't believe it. You didn't have a, a BiPAP. You weren't on a ventilator. You uh, came out of anesthesia. You almost died. Um, well, I technically did. Um, but you almost didn't come back, and, and look at you now, ugly as ever. So uh, I love hearing that, you know. Means I, I stressed them out, and that's a really good thing. So anytime you can kind of tell your doctors, you know, you're, you want to do something a certain way, and then it works out in your favor, it's a pretty big feeling. So I, uh, I'm the winner in this bout, and I'm ready for some more challenges. So whatever. Uh, Whatever God thinks I can handle, I'll sure give it my best shot. We'll see you guys real, real soon. Love you. I snapped this picture of my son came home from boot camp. After he found out my surgery was good, of course I sent him back to boot camp, but I did get this cool picture. This is my friend Greg Devine, the singer for Thrust. He's also the singer for Tracy Gunn's band. He's awesome. He set himself on fire. And this is my good friend, Tony Torres, the singer and leader for the band Solus. Another great friend that helped out with the benefit. And of course, Anthony Amendola, a man's best friend. He did a ton to help me out throughout this and continues to be one of my best friends ever. I love you, man.